Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of New York Post, here with a review of Hollywood's first big blockbuster of the summer season, Iron Man 2. If the original was a well-oiled fun machine with Robert Downey Jr. as the rare, unanguished superhero who actually reveled in his powers, the mechanical and overblown sequel is tooled strictly to extract hundreds of millions of dollars from moviegoers. This megabucks sequel finds our hero clanking his way through tedious subplots and a talky script that's dangerously low on Tony Stark's trademark quips, but will likely bask in the box office afterglow of its much superior predecessor. But it's only fitfully entertaining as an all-star indie team led again by director John Favreau gets swallowed up by the same sort of overproduced overkill as Spider-Man 3. Can I spell your name, Natalie? R-U-S-H-M-A-N. What are you gonna Google her now? Hmm? I thought I was ogling her. Oh, wow. Very, very impressive individual. So She's fluent in French, that. Italian, Russian, Latin. Who speaks Latin? No one speaks Latin. No it's a dead Latin. language. As the film opens, Tony Stark, the zillionaire playboy who came out as Iron Man at a press conference at the end of the last movie, is dying from palladium, the element that powers his Iron Man suit. As if there weren't enough of a downer, a senator played by Gary Shandling doesn't appreciate that Tony successfully privatized world peace. And Justin Hammer, a rival arms manufacturer played by Sam Rockwell, has joined forces with Ivan Vanko, a rogue Russian physicist played by Mickey Rourke, who has a grudge against Tony and his late father. Increasingly self-destructive behavior, he all but levels his mansion while on a bender at his birthday party, persuades his former pal Lieutenant Rhodey Rhodes, Don Cheadle, and for Terrence Howard from the first film, to steal one of Tony's suits on the military's behalf. Iron Man 2 doesn't match, let alone surpass, the heavy metal standard set by its predecessor. So I'm giving Iron Man 2 two stars out of four. I'm Lou Luminick, and you can find my reviews at nypost.com.